India must understand the grit of the state doesn't mean use of brute force. And Prime Minister Imran Khan had announced that if India takes one step towards peace, Pakistan will take two steps. This was stated by Federal Minister for Information, Chaudhary Fawad Hussain, who was the chief guest at the one-day international conference titled Occupied Kashmir, the victim of state and societal coercion, arranged by a think tank, Pakistan House in Islamabad. Earlier, former Prime Minister of Norway, Shell Magn Bonvik, mentioned that we would need more attention and action for a political solution to Kashmir issue, and it's time for new initiatives to solve Kashmir issue. President of Azad Jammu and Kashmir, Masood Khan, spoke about the need for the world community to pay heed to the voice of freedom of Kashmiris who are engaged in their just struggle for freedom and right of self-determination. Chairperson Peace and Cultural Organization, Mishal Malik, Sayyid Abdullah Gilani, convener APHC, and Director General Pakistan House, Rana Atha Javed, also spoke on the occasion. Uh to Pakistan several times and I have many good friends with Pakistani background uh, home in Norway and uh, they have encouraged me to be engaged in the Kashmir uh, issue uh, and uh, I have been uh, engaged over the last couple of years uh, I have been visiting Kashmir on both sides of the line of uh, control and I'm so concerned of what is going on uh, people are suffering, there are huge abuses of uh, human rights and I feel that we should have more international attention to this conflict now. Pakistan actually not only breaches, practices peace and stability and dialogue with India, we do not have any quarrel with Indian state except that Pakistan is asking United Nations and international community to implement the UN resolution in Indian occupied Kashmir and secondly the brutality, the human rights violation in Indian occupied Kashmir has been continued for the past three decades, four decades, and that is exactly what Pakistan House wanted to highlight. We need global support, and today's conference, Mr. Bondewak, former Prime Minister of Norway, is here, and he spoke and he, he talked about the urgency of resolving this issue through peaceful dialogue on table and to include the uh, key principal party, the Kashmiri people, who are leading the peaceful political struggle and who are suffering, who are the victims. So they need a voice need to be heard, and India needs to understand that. So we need more and more foreign engagement.